This is ABTV, Animal Bites Television. Hey, crustaceans are weird sometimes. Let's talk about five of them. That was a good intro. My name is Jason Miller, and you're watching Five Weird Animal Facts. Number one, the Yeti crab. This deep sea lobster thingy is so distinct from other crustaceans that scientists had to create an entirely new taxonomic family for it after its discovery in 2005. The origin of the Yeti crab's name shouldn't be too hard to figure out. Its pinchers and legs are covered in hairy structures called setae. The setae serve as home for chemosynthetic bacteria, which is believed to serve as a secondary food source for the crab. Another theory states that the setae filter out toxins that are released from hydrothermal vents where the Yeti crab is normally found. Number two, the Japanese spider crab. This incredible animal holds the record for greatest leg span of any arthropod, reaching a whopping 3.8 meters or 12 feet from claw to claw. Unfortunately though, Japanese spider crabs rarely reach this size today due to overharvesting and the average size caught is only around three feet across. Hopefully this will change soon because there are a lot of efforts being put in place by conservationists to try and get those populations back up. Also, despite their fairly intimidating appearance, these crabs are reported to have a very gentle disposition. I bet they give real good hugs. Number three, the gribble. That's a stupidly cute name. Gribbles are 56 species of marine isopods in the family Limnoridae, which reach a maximum length of around four millimeters. They're like aquatic termites, boring into and feeding on driftwood and fallen trees as well as seaweed. This was problematic back in the day because of the damage that gribbles occasionally cause to wooden ships. But today, these little guys are being researched in hopes of potentially finding a new source of biofuel. The enzymes in the gribble's digestive system are able to break down cellulose in wood and turn it into energy-rich sugars. So it's possible that these enzymes can be replicated and used to convert wood and straw into liquid biofuel. Gribbles just may be the answer to our energy crisis. These are exciting times we live in. Number four, my personal favorite crustacean, the coconut crab. Holding the record for largest land living invertebrate, these beastly relatives of the hermit crab can weigh up to nine pounds and have a leg span of up to a meter. Like hermit crabs, young coconut crabs use snail shells for protection until they reach adulthood, at which point they develop a tough exoskeleton on their abdomen. They reach sexual maturity at around five years old but can live to be over 60. They feed on almost anything, from fruits and seeds to insects and carrion. They get their name from the frequent reports of them climbing trees to pick coconuts, then opening and eating them with their powerful claws. Call me an idealist, but I'd eventually like to see these guys replace cats as family pets someday. Last but not least, here's number five, the peacock mantis shrimp. Probably the most badass crustacean on the planet, the mantis shrimp has the fastest punch in the animal kingdom. Its tiny shrimp fists fly forward at a speed of 50 miles per hour with the force of a 22 caliber bullet. This punch actually creates a pocket of air known as a cavitation bubble, which quickly collapses and creates a small implosion of heat, light, and sound underwater. Not only is the peacock mantis shrimp the crustacean equivalent of Manny Pacquiao, it also has some of the most complex eyes in the animal kingdom. They have 16 color receptive cones, compared to humans who just have three, and can detect 10 times more color than we can. Mantis shrimp have been around for over 500 million years because they just beat the shit out of anything that tries to make them go extinct. Thanks for watching. Let me know in the comments down below what animals and topics you want to see in future episodes. Like and share the video and subscribe to ABTV for more awesome animal things and stuff. You can help me grow my ego even higher by following me on all my social media stuff. As always guys, my name is Jason Miller and I'll see you next Monday on 5 Weird Animal Facts. My name is Brian Barczyk. I've been working with exotic animals for over 25 years. I'm no zoologist, just a guy with a passion for animals. And that passion often takes me on animal adventures around the world. This is ABTV.